Have you ever experienced a sudden drop in your sugar levels? It's an occurrence that can catch you off guard, leaving you feeling weak, dizzy, and disoriented. Your blood sugar level can drop too low with diabetes if you don't eat enough or inject too much insulin. Other risk factors for hypoglycemia include vigorous exercise and excessive alcohol use. Let's take a closer look at these products and when and how they're used as part of your diabetes management plan. Diabetes and low blood sugar. The body's main source of energy is glucose, a form of sugar that comes from the food you eat. A hormone called insulin, which is produced by the pancreas, pulls glucose out of the bloodstream and into muscle and fat cells to be used for energy. People with diabetes are not able to use insulin naturally, either because their bodies cannot make this hormone, type 1 diabetes, or because their cells become resistant to insulin signal to pull glucose out of the blood, type 2 diabetes. As a result, sugar accumulates in the bloodstream. People with type 1 diabetes in particular are likely to experience hypoglycemia, in part because all people with this type of diabetes must take insulin to keep their blood sugar down, this puts them at risk of blood sugar lows. Hypoglycemia is defined as blood sugar that has dropped below 70 mg per deciliter. There are several risk factors for developing hypoglycemia. Excessive alcohol consumption, overexertion or strenuous exercise, skipping meals or otherwise not eating enough, taking too much insulin or other diabetes medications. Symptoms of hypoglycemia. The symptoms of hypoglycemia can look different from person to person and typically present quickly. Anyone with diabetes, and the people closest to them, should know the various signs. Blurred vision, clammy hands, confusion, dizziness, fatigue, headaches, hunger, irritability, nausea, nervousness, pale skin, rapid heartbeat, shaking, sweating, weakness. In addition, severe cases of hypoglycemia can lead to loss of consciousness, seizures, or even death. Using glucose tablets. How to use glucose tablets. Blood sugar levels below 70 mg per deciliter are considered low and need to be addressed. Experts say the key to turning around a hypoglycemic episode is getting 15 grams of sugars, or simple carbohydrates, into the bloodstream as soon as possible. CDC recommends the 15 to 15 rule for hypoglycemia in which blood sugar is between 55 mg per deciliter, 3.1 mol L, and 69 mg per deciliter, 3.8 to 15 grams of carbs and check your blood sugar after 15 minutes. If it's still below your target range, have another serving. Repeat these steps until your blood sugar is in your target range. Once it's there, eat a nutritious meal or snack to ensure it doesn't get too low again. A typical glucose tablet contains 4 grams of sugar, so 3 to 4 tabs are generally necessary to get 15 g of sugar. How do glucose tabs compare to other sources of quick sugar, like candy or juice? Studies found that glucose tablets were more effective in resolving the symptoms of low blood sugar within 15 minutes in conscious people with hypoglycemia compared to dietary sugars like orange juice, jelly beans, or milk. Thus glucose should therefore be tried first, if available. Alternatives to glucose tablets If glucose tablets, gels, or shots are not available, there are several alternatives. Gum drops, jelly beans, or hard sugar candy. Avoid chocolate candy, because the fats in chocolate can slow the absorption of sugar. Note that you don't need much candy to reach 15 g of carbs, check labels for the right amount. Half a cup or 4 ounces of fruit juice or regular, not diet, soda. 1 tablespoon of corn syrup, honey, or sugar. Episodes of low blood sugar are a part of living with type 1 diabetes and can occur in type 2 diabetes too if you are taking medication, insulin or otherwise, to lower your blood sugar. If hypoglycemia occurs, the first order of business is to get glucose into your bloodstream, quickly. The best way to do this is by ingesting fast-acting glucose in tablet, gel, or liquid form. Juice or sugary candy can also work in a pinch, but glucose products are easier to carry around or keep in a car, purse, or desk. For severe low blood sugars, below 55 mg per deciliter, be sure to have an emergency supply of glucagon on hand. Hope this video gave you important information about hypoglycemia. If this ever happens to you next time, you know what to do.